Hi there everybody, welcome to the channel. Pretty simple and quick tutorial today. We're going to talk about digitizing your VHS or Super 8, Hi8, other types of uh, you know tape camcorder tapes. If you, you know have some of these old stuff laying around or maybe you have a whole bunch of old family movies or other movies you want to digitize and burn to a DVD, this is the perfect uh, tutorial for you. And the things you're going to need to do this will involve getting a VCR, which someone in your family might still have one sitting around. You can get them on Amazon for $100 to $300. Uh, obviously, they're not new. Or, you know, check out your local, like, Goodwill and stuff like that. You could probably get them pretty cheap if you can come across them if they work. You're going to need RCA component video audio cables. Probably going to need an S video cable, especially if you're going to be... Uh, taking tape off of an old handy cam that takes like Hi8 tapes and stuff. And then you're going to need the Elgato video capture hardware and software, which you can get off Amazon. Links will be down below. And uh, it's about $86 and it has like the pigtails for the AV cables and the S video cable. And then also goes into a USB that plugs into your computer, USB-A. And the next thing you're going to need is a DVD burner. If your computer doesn't already have a DVD burner, an optical drive, you can buy an external one off of Amazon for about $26. So you're going to need to burn the DVD as software to burn it itself. And if you're not going to, you know, put these on DVD and you're just going to put them on your computer, you don't need this item. And if you're just going to put it on YouTube, keep the link private and send it to people, then obviously you don't need the CD burner software. But I use but I use Cyrillink Power to Go Platinum 13, and it's about, I think it's like $48, $50 for the software package. And it's actually pretty cool. You can then like, you know, change where the chapters are on the DVD for your movie. You can change the background for the title screen and then edit pretty much anything you want. And then of course, you're gonna need blank DVDs and jewel cases to put them in. They're super cheap. You can get them on Office Max or on Amazon. You can get like 10 to 15 of them with jewel cases for like 20 bucks, $25, so really not that much. And then the last thing you're going to need is DaVinci Resolve. And uh, it's a free download, it's a video editor. We'll go through the basics of it. You don't need to understand it a whole lot to do what we're going to do. Really the principle of it is, really the principle of using it is so that we can export a uh, copy of the video that you are going to rip from the tape so that you can split the mono audio and have it come out both speakers so that it doesn't just play out one side of your TV because most VCRs that you're going to come across only have mono input on the back so it's only going to record the left or right side of the audio track and in Resolve we'll just split it so that it plays across both sides it's very easy and the longest thing that takes is if you have like a two hour video that you're going to rip to a DVD, you gotta actually let it play for two hours so that you're gonna record the whole, uh, you know, tape onto the hard drive. So that's really the only downside of this. And this is going to be way cheaper overall if you have several uh, VCR or VHS tapes or eight millimeter tapes that you wanna digitize. If you only have a couple tapes, like two or three, that you want to digitize onto a DVD, you can send those out to companies and they will do it for you. And, you know, it's not terrible. It's probably the same amount of money you spend on the hardware to do this. But if you have several, you know, VHS tapes, then this is the way to do it. Now, this does not uh, work for the reel-to-reel -reel home movies from back in the day. So if you're looking for that, this isn't a tutorial for you. So, let's jump into it and see what it's about. So the first step is just figuring out what you're going to burn. Grab your tape and throw it in your uh, VCR. Boy, I miss those sounds. Really uh, brought you into the movie. Then you got to plug in your Elgato hardware through your USB-A port. Make sure you plug in your RCA cables into the corresponding colors for the Elgato dongle for the video capture. Then you got to move in to the back side of your VCR, plug it into the outside of the uh, jacks. Once all your hardware is hooked up, you're going to open the video capture software, which might come on a disc, or you go on Elgato's website and you can just download it from there. 
it's pretty straightforward. Just use the wizard. This is also on Mac and Windows, so if you have either or, it'll work. Make sure you select Composite RCA and 4x3 since we're recording from a VHS tape. Then just hit play on the uh, VCR and it'll pop up and show you a preview of what you're going to, re going to record. Then the next one you just click continue and it shows you recording on one channel with the uh, audio bars moving and then click continue again. And then you can also select where your final copy that you record from is going to be saved and click continue and then once you're ready to go you can hit mute sound so that it's not playing back through your speakers or headphones while you're using the computer to do other things. Then you can just hit start recording. If you want it to stop recording at a pre-designated amount you can click the one checkbox and it will automatically stop recording after about two and a half hours. And it also shows you the current duration of recording and how much space on the hard drive it takes up. Once you're done, click the stop recording button. And you can also use this trimming wheel here, this trimming bar, and then select where you want it to end. So if you accidentally record a whole bunch of blue screen with no video, you can trim it out automatically from there. Then once you click continue, it will process your video and spit it out to where you want it to be saved to. And if you have nothing else to record, just hit quit. And here we're going to start DaVinci Resolve. You don't need the studio version for this. The uh, free version works just the same. You're going to start a new project. And then you're going to make a new timeline by clicking on the left side in the media area. And you're going to use format and type in a custom sized. I use 640 by 480 so that it fits the format of VHS resolution tapes. And then you want to drag and drop the final video that you record from Elgato software onto your editing timeline. And here you can expand and see the uh, audio track, change the audio track to mono. And then if you would prefer, you can also trim out the uh, recorded areas that don't have any video here, or just shorten your video clips if you wanted to, by using the razor tool. And once you're ready, you click on the last tab on the bottom, it looks like a rocket ship. That's how you export your video. And then we're going to type in the location you want to save your final video to and a name for it. If you are on the free version, you'll have access to the codec H264, which is fine. And if you're on a studio version, you can use H265. The real difference is 265 will use less space on your hard drive. But with a VHS copy, it's not really a huge deal. And when you're ready, just click Add to Render Queue. And then on the top right, it'll list your, your project. So you export and then click Render All. It will show how many frames per second you're exporting at. And then on the top right, it will show the progress bar for your export and how much time is estimated to be remaining. And once it's complete, you need to get your DVD burner ready. Pick out your disk and put it in your drive. And you need to open up your CD burning software. But for me, it's the Power 2 Go from Cyberlink, then you can just drag and drop your video into the burner. And at the bottom it'll say that it's uh, too big of a file, it won't fit on your disk. And the easy workaround for that, you need to click on your disk preferences, select 4x3 since this is a VHS tape, and then for your quality, select down Smart Fit. And it will adjust your file size and resolution to fit all on the DVD. And once you have that done, you can just type in whatever you want for your title for the main screen for the menu system. And you can also drag it around and adjust it however you need. And with uh, the purchase copy of this, you can download different templates whenever you log into their website. It's kind of neat, a lot of different versions. So we'll pick this one, A Dreamy World. We'll just download it. And when it says it's done downloading, you just got to open the file location and then drag and drop it from whenever you downloaded it into the menu tab and it will automatically install that uh, menu type. And then click, click on it and then click apply to all pages and you're good to go. And if you don't want any of the weird background music on your title screen, you go down here, this background music, and then just delete that import area. And you can preview it and there's no weird music playing in the background if you don't want it. When you click play, it'll simulate what it'll look like whenever it's on your uh, DVD player. And then when you're done with all that and you're happy with how it turns out, 
just uh, click the burn button and name the disk title whatever you want and you just gotta wait for it to do its thing now then once it's done it'll tell you that uh, the burn was successful disk was added to your disk manager library and you just go okay I'm done hit cancel so you don't uh, burn another one if you don't want to and it closed down the program and then just pop out your newly burnt DVD from the uh, external burner now this is uh, for the other people if they're not doing VCR tapes if you are doing like a Sony Handycam that takes high 8 tapes or different versions of 8mm they're all kind of be the same you just got to reference your manual on your camera to see what uh, output cables you need for that but for this one it's a high 8 tape player and this is how we're going to take the tape off that and burn it to the computer and do the exact same thing as the VCR so the first thing I recommend is adding your external AC power so you're not running off battery so it doesn't die in the middle of recording and then we have the audio out on the side of the camera and we just plug that white cable into that with the splitter this is a 3.5 millimeter jack for the audio and you put that white cable into the Elgato and then we're using an S video cable for the video out then you gotta put your tape in there and then we gotta switch over to the uh, computer and software and before you get to the software you just gotta put it in play mode and then just press the play button and now it'll mirror onto the computer screen in the exact same way as the previous version for VHS so we'll just name the file we want click continue but for this we're going to click S video since that's the output that we're using and the rest of this is exactly the same as doing the VCR VHS tape side so nothing too crazy to that and we'll just put it back in resolve when we're done and split out the audio so that it mirrors on both sides and if you decide to use any of the hardware listed in this uh, video, please use my links down below through the Amazon affiliate program. It gives me a little bit of a kickback, and I appreciate that. If you liked the video and it was helpful for you, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below how it worked out for your home movies or any kind of old-school VHS movies that you uh, digitized. Until next time, I'll see you out there. Good luck.